Hey guys, Cat here and welcome to my new series of work in progress videos when I'm gonna be painting this beautiful kit Master Grade Shinanju OVA version, which is now fully unassembled and ready to work on. I already cleaned knob marks and separated the parts, weapons, inner frame, armor parts, etc. As for my paint job, I will stick to original color scheme for this kit, but I'm gonna be doing some candy with a shading effect. So it's gonna be glossy red comet mobile suit, most likely with color and texture contrast paint job. Also I've got this nice third company set of metal detail up parts, like metal verniers, different kind of bits, tubes and mono eye. There are the old plastic verniers from the kit. I already did some prep work over the plastic to install the metal parts in the future. I cutted the pegs which were holding the original verniers and sanded down the surfaces. Also I made holes for metal bits like here. I drilled through the piece and used some katabuki round parts to cover the holes from inside. I don't want to do a lot of modification, but I decided to make some minor things. Like the propellant tanks. I'd like to replace these nozzles and I found this Katibuki MSG set of duct nozzles which is P104 is very similar about the size. Problem is I have only one set of those, which means I have only 4 pieces. But I need 8, so I ordered more sets from HLJ and it's gonna be here like next month. And now let's get to the priming. First I'm gonna work with red armor parts. I took Mr. Color Surfacer 1200, which is one of my favorite lacquer gray primer, and applied it with a good wet coat. I will use this first layer of primer for surface check. Mostly such a huge complex parts like this have some imperfections like shrinkages and so on, and they gonna be more visible over the primer. I noticed that most of the parts actually have some areas to work on, and I decided to send down the entire pieces to fix those issues. I'm using different sanding sticks. Hard film type sticks from Pit Road, the blue ones, for flat surfaces, and soft sponge type sticks from Infini Model for round surfaces. As you see, such sanding procedure is quite enough for the minor imperfections like that. In case of bigger issues, like deeper shrinkages, you'll have to use some putty. But gladly here it isn't really needed. By the way, this electrostatic dust pot is really handy. You can easily clean your sanding sticks with that. Not an ad, just saying. Ok, the sanding is done and let's prime the parts again with our grey primer.
Now it's time to get to the actual painting. Since I decided to make candy paint job, I'm gonna be using black gloss as undercoat for metallic paint. Of course, apply it with wet coat for maximum glossiness. First I spray internal areas, then the edges and at the end apply the paint over the entire part. Now, there is a metallic's turn. Mostly I would use some bright silver metallic as an undercoat for a candy, but here I'm gonna be using this beautiful Gaia Notes X Gold paint. It will add a warm tone to my candy color. Since I'd like to make a shading effect, I'll start to highlight the areas with gold paint, focusing on the center of the patterns, trying to build a gradient and leave shading over the edges and panel lines. This is quite a precise and time-consuming process, but it's definitely worth it. And yeah, as you see, the paint is quite thin, and I apply it with the mist coats. Okay, I think that's it for this episode. Next time I will continue to work on the red armor parts and I'll start working on black parts as well. Thank you for watching and I see you next time.